I'm going to show you my truck camping setup. Um, I have built a platform inside of the truck and I'll explain how that is built. So um, it's a pretty simple, very, very, very simple design. I mean, you could build it in probably an hour, maybe two hours. Um, this is just three quarter inch plywood. Um, it takes two sheets and you just have to cut them a little bit short. I've got a long bed on my truck, um, so it's six and a half feet. Um, but of course you're going to buy a four by eight sheet of three, uh, three quarter inch plywood. Um, and then for the plywood, I've covered it with a vinyl. Um, that way the mattress and things can slide in easily. I'm not getting uh, stuffed by splinters and things like that from the top of the, uh, the platform. Um, because it's in two pieces, I can move one section over. Um, and we can actually set this up as kind of like a couch. Um, the headroom is okay in here, um, but it's just enough that we can set this up, have a place to put our feet so that we're not kind of scrunched up in bed. Um, as far as the braces go, um, this is a pretty interesting setup because uh, my Ford F-150, it's 2009, uh, has slots where a two by six will fit from one side of the bed to the other. So you just measure the distance across the bed, um, cut your two by six, and then it will actually lay down in those slots, both on the front and the back of the bed. Um, in the center, now I didn't use two by sixes, I just used two by fours. If I had to do it over again, I would use two by sixes just for the uh, added support. Uh, but the two by fours work just fine for us. Um, we typically, when we go camping, it's the two of us and, and our two dogs. So um, all of our gear slides underneath of it so we don't store a lot on top of the, uh, the platform. But in the center of the two by four, I have made a brace. Uh, that way there's no bowing. Um, and with this brace, it's just another smaller piece of two by four that I've cut. And I've mounted it to a hinge so that whenever I pull this apart, I can keep everything together. So I can keep the brace with the, um, the support that, that runs uh, horizontally. So it's a very simple setup. Uh, most trucks, from my understanding, have the notched uh, spots on the bed on each side, which makes it super easy. But one thing that we were really surprised about um, as far as comfort goes was we don't need anything more than a three inch memory foam mattress topper. Um, you would be shocked at just how comfortable it is. You would think that you would sink through and be laying on, on, the, um, on the platform, but um, this is just uh, a three inch memory from topper uh, with a cover over top of it. Purchased this from overstock.com for pretty cheap. Um, fits perfect, it's queen size, um, and has a little bit of room on each side of the, um, of the mattress so that we can put cell phones or whatever. Um, but it's very comfortable. We don't think we'll ever need anything more than just this three inch memory foam topper. A few other things that will be critical to your truck camping setup, uh, window coverings um, and carpet. So I've got uh, cut a piece of carpet. This was just an old piece of carpet that we had in a room in our downstairs. Um, we were replacing the carpet. This carpet was still good. So I cut a piece to fit, um, adds a little bit of insulation and additional comfort. Um, and it allows things to slide in and out uh, from underneath of the platform very easily. Um, additionally, for your window coverings, um, I have cut pieces and then attached the, I attached these pieces to Velcro. So I have attached Velcro on the, um, this is like, I don't know, foil bubble wrap essentially. Um, they sell it in the insulation uh, aisle of your local Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, the Velcro, you just buy a roll of it and you can get the double-sided stuff so you can put a piece on the glass and then put a piece on the, uh, the bubble wrap. Um, this works really well for cold weather camping, um, but we also use it even whenever it gets warm because it's easy just to stick it up and uh, not have to worry about people seeing inside the, uh, the truck. Um, a few other things, if you don't already have a shell for your, for your truck, um, I would recommend getting one with a slide window. Um, ours has the sliding glass on both sides and then the front um, has a glass that lays down. So just adds for uh, or allows for some extra um, whenever the weather's warm. The last piece um, 
whenever we were looking for a, uh, a shell for the truck, um, I was specifically looking for something that we could camp in. And having read a lot of different forums online and watched several YouTube videos, uh, I found that uh, a lot of people were recommending getting a shell that has the carpet that is on the inside of the, um, of the shell itself. One thing I would recommend is going to the dollar store, getting yourself some long kind of skinny trays. Um, these are really nice to set on the bed rails uh, inside the shell. Um, I just add a little bit of Velcro. Um, that way we can leave them up whenever we're traveling and we don't have to worry about things falling off of the bed rail. Um, but uh, yeah, nice to have, uh, not necessary to have, but very nice. So we keep all of our gear in two plastic drawers. Um, that way we can store it easily whenever we get back home after camping. Um, but it's nice because the height of the drawers allows me to slide everything underneath of the, uh, of the bed frame. Um, so to keep them together from sliding around, I attach them together with just a uh, small clothespin and can slide it up underneath it here and allows me to close it up, um, but still access everything if I need to. So a few nice items to have with you, um, a carbon monoxide detector. Um, you can of course crack a window if you have windows on your camper shell. Um, we don't run any sort of like propane heater, which I've seen some folks do. Um, it stays very warm with two people inside the cab. Once it's sealed up, um, especially if we have our dogs, it's like, nice and toasty even on you know when it's 30 degrees we've camped down um, into the mid 20s at night um, and with enough blankets and wearing the right clothing uh, you'll stay plenty warm you won't need a propane heater um, but we keep this just in case um, and I've just added some velcro to the back of it which sticks to the carpet on top of my camper shell uh, which is super nice um, I also have a indoor outdoor thermometer so I stick this, it's wireless, um, very cheap from Walmart, it's like 10 bucks. Um, I stick this piece on the, uh, the rear window of the truck cab, um, so which is outside of the, uh, outside the elements. Um, and then this I stick inside. Uh, I just like to see how cold it is and you know what the temperature difference is between the inside and outside of the cab. Uh, we keep extra battery packs for cell phones. Um, I keep a fire extinguisher inside the truck uh, because you never know what could happen. Um, of course, we have like our first aid kit, um, emergency uh, locator beacon because we tend to camp out in the mountains in the middle of nowhere, um, flashlights, things like that. When you're inside of the, uh, of the camper shell getting ready to go to bed for the night, um, it's a little difficult to close the tailgate. Um, so on the F-150 and probably most trucks, you'll find some sort of hole that you can stick a bungee cord through, whatever you can find. It's got kind of a hook on the end of it. Um, we just use just a small bungee cord and it allows us when we're inside the truck to pull the tailgate closed. When you're inside getting ready to go to sleep for the night, you're gonna wanna lock yourself inside, uh, which is a little tricky because there's not a handle or a lock on the inside of your shell. Um, but with most shells, you're gonna have a bar that runs the length of the rear glass, um, and you can operate that bar from the outside, or you can operate it from the inside as well. So when it's all the way out, it's in lock position. There are guides on either side, and so what you wanna do is find yourself a clamp to clamp to that metal bar and that prevents somebody from being able, from the outside, to open up your shell. So we like to take lots of fun toys with us whenever we go camping. So uh, we have an inflatable kayak that fits underneath of our bed. Uh, we also bring, uh, each of us bring our bikes. Um, I have a Kuat NV rack. Um, highly recommend this bike rack. It uh, lifts up, so this is the flat level position. Uh, when the bikes are on it though, we can tilt the rack back and still be able to open our tailgate um, to get in and out. Uh, I've got an inch and a quarter sized rack, so I had to go online and find, uh, because my hitch is a two inch, um, 
had to go online and find a converter. So whenever I found a converter, they give you different size extension options. So this is a two inch to a quarter inch uh, hitch converter and it's 14 inches long. Um, I measured out the size of the bed is about 16 or 18 inches, something like that. And then we have a little bit of room here from where the rack actually fits inside of the hitch uh, to where the bikes would, would start. So uh, you want to get this if you want to be able to get in and out of your truck with your bike rack on. I run them back to back and then attach them together with just a clothespin. Um, that allows me to. Uh, <laughs> what does it allow you to do? We'll cut that part out. Oh no, it's going in. Huh? I'm <laughs> 